uh, just wanted to make a video about like how to get the best laser settings, how to get your settings dialed in on your laser, the best way that I've found, and I think really the best way there is. So, which is to do it with your controller. But I'll show you. I've just got this image here. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit. I basically got it set up. You can send it at any speed and any power because we're going to change it over there. I've got pass through on because mine's already divvered. I'm just going to start it at 20 maximum, zero minimum. Say OK. Um, send that. Over right. Okay. So this is what I normally do. What you want really is a square and a pencil. These are two main things. Bring it up to its close and then drop it down to it sits nice and flush on there. Make sure your wood's pinned down well as well. If you can try and leave this edge open, you're gonna need to put the and it's not necessary, but it's kind of nice if you've got some, you know, lines to go by. I did have to re-record my audio as out there. My fan was too loud, you couldn't really hear what I was saying, so I'm trying to watch the video and re-narrate this, so <laughs> I tried my best here, but I can't let it etch the first bit. Just let it do like maybe an inch or so. Or just till you got enough info to see if it's going right or not and then like that you just press pause and it'll stop the machine then you can draw in your first line and just write in your speed and power for that line as well maybe write in your dots per inch what you sent as well so that you know And then to change your power setting you want to press the menu button go down to maximum power in this case you see it's 20 maximum power at the moment and I'm gonna turn that up to 25 to see the difference so to do that you just want to use the arrow keys the left and the right arrow key will move the little cursor along the up and down arrow key will change the numbers so just move it till you've got the correct number in there and then press enter and with the maximum power start won't work straight away so you got to press escape first and then make sure you only press it once as it cancel the job and then you can press start and you'll see the machine will start etching again and the speed and the power will change up the top as you can see at the moment the screen's blank now and it's taken away the power so you want to look up the top here when you press the button that's when it'll change it'll still say you know the original numbers there but you'll see as I press start it'll change and now your power has changed so you should see a little bit more darkness in this one and then you want to leave that like say for maybe an inch or so just let it go until you've got enough information to see if it's working good for you or not when you're ready just hit the pause button just 
put your new mark in there. Now right above that line what speed and power that was. You see that one was 500 speed at 25 power. So that was adding another 5 power. And you can see it's got a little bit darker. I'll put the camera over the top of it at the end so you can clearly see the difference. So then you just want to go maximum power again, change it using the arrows again. <coughs> Same again now, you can see it getting darker and you can see up the top there is where your power and speed settings are. It's getting a bit closer to looking good. again I did have to re-record my audio as out there my fan was too loud you couldn't really hear what I'm saying so I'm trying to watch the video and re-narrate this so <laughs> tried my best there but yeah as you can see that time I've done 500 at 30 and you can see in the picture it's getting darker and now you really you just want to carry on through doing this same you know changing it a little bit at a time until it gets to about the right kind of darkness for you and you see now I've turned it up to 35 power after this one I'll start changing the speed so I'm just going to let it get to that so I can show how I change the speed and then I'll fast forward through the rest until we get to the photograph at the end and you can see now now the design starting to come out a lot better as well and I believe this is 535 power 500 speed 35 power but like I say that's why you want to write it down on there as well because it's hard to remember a lot of these numbers when you're doing a lot at once yeah just double check as well on your controller okay this time I think I start messing with the speed now and the speed is actually easier to change than the power. All you have to do, you press speed. Same thing with the arrows, just move it along. And you can see I just changed the 5 for a 4, so now it's going 400 millimeters a minute or a second, is it? And again, you can see without changing the power, just by slowing it down, obviously, it's getting more time to lay down dots and it's getting a bit more time to put a bit more burn on it so you can see it's getting darker what I'm showing there up the top was that has popped back up at 500 at 20 power but that's not correct you just want to read the numbers right in the top right hand corner that is the correct numbers so, so I'm just about to pause it again draw the line out <coughs> and this is handy to hang up on the wall near your laser or just have nearby so that you can 
you've got something a little bit to reference because if someone comes into your shop and wants something done you can kind of show them look this is the difference you know in the darkness I mean I did show on one of my other videos using borax which makes it you know much darker like come out nearly black but I mean if you want just a normal wood burn this is the best way to dial the settings in with the borax I use really low settings you can see now I've turned it down to a 300 speed still at, I believe 35 power and I'm going to skip it from here up to the end of the video and then we we'll look at the final result and you can and then I'll be able to show you the difference so I'm going to fast forward the video from here alright I'll just skip to the end and I think I can go back to my original audio for the end so I'm going to go back to that and this is the final outcome difference as you go and this is just you know not trying many different ones I mean 200 at 35 seemed a bit much but I mean if you've done 200 let's say 25 the slower the laser goes the more dots it drops down if I was running this at 500 still down here it probably wouldn't have shown these dots because it would have been it don't hit every dot because it's going back and forward so quickly and as you can see as it slows down the kind of image darkens out a bit more I mean for my laser at the moment on these ones I like the 300 at 35 and 250 at 35 gives you like nice depth but each laser is different but you can see the 500 don't look bad but it's you know it's hardly scratched the surface down here, I mean it's still flat but it's, you know, got enough power to put the lines where you want them and still leave the whites, so yeah, just wanted to show that because that really helped me when I was messing around and trying to get images correct, rather than keep printing one and messing it up, you're better just to get an image like this and just run it like that at the different speeds and till you I mean some images just look better at certain speeds you can see this side and yeah as you got down here look, you start to get shadows behind stuff more and, and you can see the rope in there yeah it's all come out pretty clear but for me I prefer these darker tones but I mean maybe you like the lighter one and then this is the way to find out so Thanks for watching, and I hope you can help someone out. And please like and subscribe on the video, and I'll come up with some more best tips I can. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thanks.